Hi, this is Norman with GuyTechie.com, and this is my Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this is the AT&T variant, and uh, so this is the, uh, not the quad core, but the dual core, and it's running Jelly Bean. Check that out. So you've got, I can unlock it, I can go to the camera, and there's Google Now. So there's my cards. Um... It's generally working fine. This is actually Cyanogen Mod 10. Uh, this is a pre-release, and uh, <clears throat> it's actually 4.1.1. As you can see, it's got the uh, all those uh, widgets, uh, power widgets up there. And here are the settings. Let's go to About. And uh, as you can see, this is Android version 4.1.1. This is actually uh, built on uh, the 20th of July of 2012. Uh, so we can, uh, oops, come on. So you can see the uh, Easter egg is still there. And it's nice and smooth and it's very, very fast. So, it's all here. We've got the new cleaner um, uh, bar. Uh, I don't have any uh, way to, uh, well there's widgets here and everything and I like the way I have my icons here. Chrome is not actually there, it's not actually part of it, but uh, so, but uh, the regular browser is. And of course, all of the apps and widgets are there, along with the new Google Play. Now, keep in mind though, this is not a... Uh, Galaxy Nexus, so we don't have any on-screen uh, controls, but the menu button is here, so that's how you can get to some of the other things. Uh, a lot of the apps, actually all of the apps, will not have, uh, let me give you a good, so for example, uh, this is Dog Catcher. Uh, normally the menu button would be at the top here, but it's not there anymore because it knows that there is a physical menu button there. Let me do some tests. How tall is the Wiz uh, Willis Tower? Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet Okay, tall. it's got the wrong... <laughs> I said it all messed up, but uh, you get the idea. How tall is the Willis Tower? Name some movies that Denny Glover starred in. Uh, see what I mean? It's not perfect, but then again, I'm a little far away from the mic, so. Name some movies that Danny Glover starred in. And so it works. I mean, the only thing that doesn't work is the cameras. You have to uh, modify some files for it to even come up. Uh, it does work as you can see, uh, uh, in terms of taking photos and whatnot. But as you can see, a lot of options are not there. You cannot set the uh, storage location. Uh, so such as um, you know your internal or external SD card. And as you can see, the highest uh, picture size that you can get is 3 megapixels, which is sad. But hey, this is just developing ROM. It's not ready for prime time yet. Actually, uh, if you don't mind the camera, I'm using it as my daily driver, and so far I like it. Switching over to... Uh, as you can see, still some general instabilities. But I wanted to show you, oh, see, once it crashes, you won't be able to connect to the camera again. I wanted to show you that video does work, 720p as well as 1080p. Um, but the biggest problem with this build right now at this point is the camera. Everything else works beautifully well, and it's smooth, and it is fast. So, and also, uh, 4G does work, LTE. Uh, the 4G symbol, as you see there, is indicates LTE. When you fall back to HSPA+, it'll just have a uh, H there. 
I'll show you the AT&T speeds right now. This is what happens when you run without a script, right? You just kind of go through it as you uh, as you think of it. In fact, actually, uh, the next good test I would try would be uh, the quadrant, just to see how that runs. As you notice in my uh, last speed test, you know it's not very fast here in Chicago with LTE, uh, but the upload speeds are pretty quick. Uh, so that's uh that's LTE right there. Uh let's see. Do I have quadrant? I do have quadrant around here. Where is the quadrant? Oops. Well, this is as long as I've seen the CPU run, so I guess uh, it's not very optimized yet. I'm try to keep the key screen from sleeping. Oh my! Fifteen frames per second. That's pretty bad. My device is all the way down there. It's very poor. It's nineteen twenty-three. So as you can see, it's not very optimized, uh, but it feels pretty quick. So this is uh, my little preview of uh, Cyanogen Mod Ten. Uh, this is built in uh, July twentieth, twenty ten. It's no doubt going to be been, uh, gets better as uh, as it comes along. So, uh, but it's still usable as a daily. I'm using it. So, uh, if you're interested in downloading and installing it yourself, the link is down below in the description. My name is Norman, and this is for guytechie.com.